Oh, fuck yeah, everybody. How's everybody doing? You guys enjoying the series so far? I'm really enjoying playing this game, regardless. Like, it's, it's way different than when I was recording Resident Evil, because that one, like... I didn't dread playing it, but I definitely didn't enjoy playing it as much as other games because I'm such a chicken. Like, I was always willing at any time to be like, okay, I am, and I am done. But this game, man, I could sit here and play this all day. This one's been recording for me very easily. I've gotten a whole bunch of recording done. All right, Cindy, I'm in your face now. What do you got to say now? Huh? Ooh, Wanna fight? The piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with hooves, but here you are. <laughs> That's right. We've evolved. You're in trouble now, little lady. We cops don't like be <laughs> closed doors and unreachable perches or people having high ground on us. <laughs> yeah, you got me now. Yeah, I the do. The dynamic between us has completely changed. That smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not paint. It's heavy fuel oil. Oh, what the fuck? Is that heavy fuel oil you're using as paint? Red dyed heavy fuel oil, intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. What, what the did fuck? You think I was using aquarels? Suck Possibly. Out like a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in Jamrock. Probably shouldn't be telling us that. She really did it. She's proud of it, too. Fumes are bad. Fumes are bad, McGillan. Better hand it over. There's some clever cultural commentary. That's some clever cultural commentary. You ain't seen nothing yet, piggy boo. All right, see you later. I don't care. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go in there. Okay, cool. And cancel it. Gotta go up here first. Jeez, what are you doing? The door is locked. Kick it in. Ah, jeez. Oh, $2.25. Oh my God, we're rich. Jesus. Above, tarps flap, uh, tarps flap in the wind. Forgotten hammers and nails rust. I really like your skull, Cindy. It's very cool. Reminds me of uh, the skateboard company Zero. If there's still a thing. I don't know. I haven't kept up with that stuff in a long, long time. I haven't stepped foot in a West 49 in like 10 years. Someone's been sleeping here recently. Oh, yeah? Enough coal to last for several winters. Smells of chemicals. This must be where Cindy lives. Gross. There's jeans in there! Oh my goodness! I gotta try them on right now! Oh, oh we're gonna look so good in jeans! But my, my, oh, but my pants! Showing off my package, you know what I'm saying? Let me check these bad boys. Plus one to electrochemistry, good ass. React minus one to reaction speed, hindsighted. Okay, compared to plus one to electrochemistry and minus one to that, minus one to reaction speed. Interesting. Uh, you know they're a little underwhelming. They don't look as good as I as I thought they were going to look. Like these look way better. Those look way better. I'm. But Savor Fair, or Far, or whatever, is pretty useful. So it was reaction speed, though. So, I don't know. I'm going to stick with my pants. They look way better. We look good right now, baby. Looking real good. <laughs> really kind of fucked up, though, with the, with the bolt cutters and a bag full of garbage in my hands. Anyway, let us proceed, Kim. I don't see anything else in... Oh! What's this? What do we got? What is that? Four dollars and fifty-seven cents. Oh my goodness, Kim! We could buy so much stuff now. We could buy things. Oh, oh! Now we're starting to get loaded up in here. I can get so many McGoddam doubles. You don't even know what to do with all the McDoubles we're about to buy. We can get like freaking four of them now, y'all. That's insane. I'm gonna be eating good, eating real good. Why am I walking so weird? Is, like, my bag of garbage getting too heavy? Is that what's going on? I don't know. Alright, let's go to the balcony. As far as I know, we looked at everything we can in here. To the balcony! Go! Oh, yeah? Equip the flashlight in low-light areas. Oh, you are fucked up now, everybody. A breaker box is full of cigarette butts, butts and electric wires. So we're throwing electric wires in there. Oh, 15 cent? That's nothing now compared to all the money we got. Oh, what's this? A door. Just a door. Nothing for you here right now. 
Will there be something there for me later? Oh, 75 cents. We're at $12 right now. Oh, so much money. Oh, struggling a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell is happening? Please, please stop spinning. Help. Someone's growing rosemary thyme in a cactus. All right, that's cool. This door is made of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Kick in the door. Let's see if anyone's home. No one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. <laughs> I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. But it's five. That's like the evening. That's that's kind of like the evening. I don't understand. What the hell is evening? When is evening? Return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. Tomorrow? About 9 p.m. Sometime. Holy jumping. What do you mean? Sounds good. Tomorrow. I don't think I can make it. What do you mean? The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So tomorrow, 9 p.m.? How do you know he's going to be here tomorrow at 9 p.m., Kim? Suddenly, he's a little worried about your memory. Uh... Don't think I can make it's it. It's all right. We don't have to be here at 9 p.m. sharp. I just need to write something down in my notebook. Okay. Tomorrow evening, right here. Apartment number 28. Good. Let's go. Dash. Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Don't worry. You'll get him. Like, dude, people knock at my door all the time, and I just don't answer it. Even though, like, both of our cars, my wife and I's cars, are in the driveway, and we knock, and someone knocks, we don't answer it. Doesn't mean we're not home. We just fucking don't want to deal with you. <laughs> Tomorrow, he's probably gone for today. Yeah, okay, if you say so. What about this dough? Who's in here? This is the door to apartment twenty-nine. Complete silence. Whoever lives there isn't home. Sure. Voices from within singing along to some buoyant dance track. Okay. Can we interrupt them? Look at all the bottles over there. Oh, I need all those bottles. Kim, let's go. We got things to do. Things to see. People to touch. Did I check this door out? Yeah, it's locked anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, it appears we are done here. Let's try this way out. Can I... May it, can I do? Uh, yeah. Now hopefully that'll open that door and we can get back in. But I don't think it really matters anyway. Okay. So. Things have happened. I don't remember if I've gone back to the body to check it since I've had the ammonia. I think I did. But I'll just maybe take a swing over there. Should probably stop in at the store and drop off all of our bottles. I have so many of them now. Would be pretty nice to go get the map now, as I have enough money for it. Interesting. Okay, we have some options here, folks. We have some options. Um, let's just go see if we can do anything else with the body before we go back anywhere else. Since we're here. Yo, what up, Kuno? Okay. Let's take a look at this again. There he still is, looking right Whew. through you. Yeah, it's still with real, right real eyes. low. The body below is in time. Okay, we won't worry about that just yet then. Oh, can level up. Okay, that's good. Um, oh, what to put it in? What to put it in? I mean, endurance would be really good. We'll do that. And now what's it at? One whole level, how much more percentage do we get? Okay, let's have this thought. What's no, don't talk to Kim. What's my thought, damn it? The ladders for kids that wouldn't hold weight of a broke man. Okay. No doubt. There he still is. Look at Uh it's only up to twenty eight percent. With his white eyes. Let's the give it below. Okay, we'll we'll wait. There's probably more shit. We'll try it again in a bit. Not worried about it right now. Dun 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 dun. Let's just take a look at all of our fucking. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Union box, place the lost boule. 
Inspect victim's body, pay for damages, find smokes, track down your badge, put the clothes in the trash. Uh, I guess we'll have to talk to Gart about that one. Made the call reporting the crime. Keep searching for the caller despite lacking the obvious leads. Search patches. Uh, track. Joyce. The jam. Ah, yes, we gotta talk to drivers and stuff. Okay. Driver! Mr. Mr. Bob Dylan Driver Man, do you Welcome have back. drugs? How long you been here, bro? Like, forever. like I was born on this here roundabout and this was all I ever knew. Just me and the metal and the tires, the oil and the fumes of mazout. Mazout. Extravagantly f phrased, but I can roll with it. I don't quite understand what you just said. Keep it simpler. I'm here to ask questions. Crime questions. Everyone's a critic, man. It's okay. I've been here a whole week already. Yeah? So tell me, what do you need? Got any smokes? Nope. Don't Fuck. smoke. Some of the other drivers do, though. There's still a few around. Waiting for the jam to disperse. Or waiting for the sweet release of death. Sweet, sweet release. Yup. Nothing wrong with that statement. Your senses have nothing to add. You, mm. you could also check the kiosk down the street. No, I'm not Great. paying for them. I want to. Want, someone has to give me it. Reba Shaw's weird. Uh, can you spare some change for uh, working stiff? Huh? Huh? Oh. No, I ain't got any money. <laughs> they don't want to pay for unfinished work. Who? The bosses, man. Okay. Makes sense. First work, then pay. I get that. I don't know who these bosses think they are, but they sound like a good arrangement. That sounds like a good arrangement for them. So you're broke. Got it. What else did I have to ask you? Here? What you need? Know about the strike? Know anything about the dead man? He ain't one of us drivers. I know that. All accounted for. Otherwise, I haven't really asked about that. Been wasting time right here. Keep him busy. Keep him busy with what? Analyzing the fundamental structural and psychological conditions of being stranded in the midst of a sea of motor lorries. And Holy. And sad, despondent chauffeurs. Sorry I asked. Jesus. Wait, what? Nothing. I'm just messing with you, man. Don't right. Don't mind my idle verbosity. Hmm. You seem like a man who knows about drugs. What do you got in the back there, pal? Uh, High-grade narcotics, illegal firearms, stuff like that. He admits it. Spread your shit on the pavement. You're going to prison right now. Time to arrest him. You're under arrest? Wicked. I've always wanted a friend in the underworld. Okay. And what are you actually hauling? You're under arrest. Ha! No, I'm joking, my man. No, you're not. You don't don't ever joke like that to cops. This haul of cargo is mostly sporting goods. You know, tracksuits and that kind of thing. Pull it all out. I need to see all of it. They usually get shipped to Grodd and the Oxygen. Though we've been making headway in the Il Moran market lately. That's your machine behind you. So you got nothing illegal then? Could I get one of those fallen tracksuits you're hauling? Yeah, can I get a tracksuit? But seriously though, like, oh, like, dude, I just watched um, Narcos not that long ago. And like the way that they would transfer and hide, uh, excuse me, hide drugs in their transportation. Are you kidding me? Like inside the wheel welds, like they did everything, man. Like, come on. Can I get a tracksuit? But I can't just freely hand out the merchandise. The bosses won't be happy. Dude, come on. Be cool. Like, dude, when, when I worked at a grocery store and uh, we sold, like, patio stuff and all that, we had this big, like, storage container of extra stuff in it that, like, got returned. You know, like, oh, we have this and that. So we had a whole bunch of extra, like, patio parts and gazebo parts. And I was back there. I was, like, 15, working all by myself because it was a terribly run place. And this dude were back there, and he's like, yo, man, there, I see there's an extra patio cover thing. Can I give you 50 bucks for that? I'm like, yeah, dude. So I got paid 50 bucks and just gave him product that I knew was just going to sit there and be wasted. So win-win for everybody. There's no denying it. Your body needs to feel the touch of some good performance wear. Yes. I need good performance touching things on my body. So nothing illegal then. Not unless they've illegalized sports equipment while I was on the road. They might have. They might have. Some places they do. Uh, okay, what a else you got? Taps his fingers rhythmically. Seem like a guy oh, that knows man. about drugs. Me and narcotics go way back. I can tell. Has some good time surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know? Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I'm a psychonaut. I do psychedelics. And I'm not like this guy. <laughs> oh, groovy, well, man. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? 
uh, no Just reason. Be with him. Okay, I'll be straight. Um, do you do you finance those other addictions with drug trafficking? I need to get high, and I'm looking for a dealer. Let me be straight with you. I'll be straight. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, ma'am. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. This jam's got folks up in arms, and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Not gonna lie, I kind of believe this guy. Uh, wait, then. Why are you still hanging around? Who do you think could be... Con yeah, who do you think it is, then? Look, man. The racist guy? stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. Hmm. All right. Don't be a stranger. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness. I got the vid. Maybe. I don't know if I actually do. I have no idea. I haven't caught it yet. We'll talk to you in just a second. I gotta drop off these bottles. I just want to get that spawn dually, you know what I'm saying? I need that money. The tear machine stand. Insert. Your bottles clunk. Three dollars and ten cents. Ah, yeah. Satisfying jingle. You Woo, we got fifteen dollars and sixteen cents, y'all. So rich. Should we buy things? I don't know. I don't know. You see several packaged raincoats. Yeah. Maybe another time. I don't need anything right now. We're okay. Most of it we can find. Is that trash right there? Is that trash on the ground right right there? No. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, Mr. Dickhead driver. Let's talk to you again. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? We might. What are you hauling? Got a smoke. Let me see the soles of your boots. You're a lorry man, right? What's your stance on drugs? Uh, let me see the soles of your boots. Been admiring the stompers, right? For sure. I can demonstrate them. On the bottom of the man's boots, you see an intricate tangle of treads with no immediately discernible pattern. Dang, I don't think he was back there at the hanging. The wind howls over the bay of Rivershaw. A cascade of cold air flowing through the tangled city streets. What? Is, is that a map of Rivershaw on your boot? It sure is. No shit. Where did you get boots like that? Custom made. Cost me a pretty penny. Why would you do that? You'll see when the time comes, officer. True patriots carry Revachol in their very souls. Okay. That's just be a really hard way to read read the map. Like, oh, I gotta take my boot off, and you're looking at the bottom of a boot to figure out where the fuck you are. Doesn't sound good to me, man. Like, just buy a regular-ass map. Technically, you're stomping on Revachol every step you take. Oh, shit! Kim, with the fire! Huh. I know you people don't understand poetry. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah, well, your, what's your stance on drugs? Drugs? They are shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. <clears throat> he takes a long drag on his, on his cigarette. Yeah, you'll sit there and hum on a cigarette, which has a ton of bad shit in it. Dummy. Why not? You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miriza. Safre. Il Mara. They take the money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. That's hot. That's real hot. They know they can't beat us in a fair fight. Hopefully. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic sabotage. <laughs> listen, I, listen, I, listen, I agree. It's your responsibility to keep this poison off the streets of Revachol, right? That's all I needed to know. Um, so I take it... Um, uh, hold on, but they make Al Ghul alcohol in Ilmara, too. I was told they do. Oh, I don't go for that foreign piss. Proper booze is made in Mundi. Or sometimes I like a dram of that Yugo Grad vodka. Koikos and worse much, but they do no booze. Okay. So you're not smuggling drugs out of Martinez? Not in, not out. I'll never betray the purity of my tribe. Now, you, my friend, I do not trust you. I don't believe anything that comes out of your mouth. So you're telling us that you don't know anything about drug smuggling through Terminal B? I don't know shit. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I do not know shit! 
So why are you still hanging around here? Most of the other Lorry men have left. What do you think? I can't leave the Lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kids sneaking around at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. Ass cancer. Goodness. There was a bunch of spilled boxes in the back of a big lorry nearby. I did see one lorry with the trailer doors open on my way here. Do you know what happened? Yeah, I knew that guy. He was an honest driver who loved this country. We were having a good debate about genetics at the Wheeling in Rags when some kid boys smashed his lock and took damn near everything. Lost his fucking job over it. Since he left, I haven't had anyone to talk to. <laughs> Surf some right. <laughs> it's a fucking tourist is what it is. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, if, if, if it's not you, then who's running drugs through Terminal B? Like he's gonna tell us, but we're the shot. Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That beady eyed South Samaran. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. Uh, who, who, who are you talking about? He's a Samaran guy who likes to pretend he's some kind of businessman. Oh, really? He's just selling his employer stuff. Stuff he stole after he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. Where do I find him? Just follow the smell. It smells like uh, apricot and oil when you're nearby. <laughs> um... Can you just point them out to me? I, do, I don't have the access to smell the video game. Yes, yes. Where is he? That's right, Kim. You got my back. Looks like uh, I offended your partner there. Too bad. Ceiling's <laughs> usually a little bit south of here, near the canal. You can't miss him. Just watch yourselves. His tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. He's your man, all right? One hundred percent. I don't believe you, but... I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what Si Leng himself has to say. Guess we need to pay Si Leng a visit, then. Guess so. Got a smoke? No. He's got a smoke right there, in mm -hmm. his fucking hand. Snatch that shit out of his fat fingers. You need it after listening to his garbage. You're smoking one right now, damn it! It's my last one. Oh my god, is that what everyone says that? Can I get a drag of it? You're hiding smokes from me? Why would I do that? I'm an honest man. He puts, he put, puts out his cigarette and flicks the tiny stub toward the street. Fuck, I oughta. Cool, cool, cool. Rub your hands together. I changed my mind anyway. But, uh, what, officer? Shit! Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. I'm out of here. God. What's it gonna take to get a no, cigarette some, around here? Oh, I, I completed a thought. Whoa. The lonesome long here way go. home. Home awaits. Walk past Station 41 and through the market. Past the Boogie Street Spearhead to the other side of the lake. The frozen eye at the center of the district. Then past the video rental store on the corner. There at the end of a street lined with pine trees. A small house no larger than a matchbox. 11 Voyager Road. You no longer live there. Those times are gone. And so are those people. Why did you come here? Why are you still here? And where's the dealer? You have to get back to work. That's all you have now. What the hell? Learning cap for perception raised to five. Speed... Speed gives plus one f psi. Cool. Okay. I had a thought. Neat. Can I do more thoughts and things? Hobo cop. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of them. Goodness. Okay. What else is going on in there? Okay, let me take a little peeky here. Do I have any items? What's this again? Pneumonia. Okay. Okay then. What a weird man. Uh, oh, this maybe that's the big muscle guy they're talking about, and I have to talk to him again. Let me take a look. See if I can see drugs. The windows are clear. They've been recent. Nothing. Nothing at all. 
Where's that little creepy old lady? I want to see if she'll talk now. Somewhere over here. There she is. Hey! What are you doing? The woman still has her eyes fixed on I have questions for you, ma'am. Grandma. Nothing. No. This one is a monster in disguise. Jeez. She's useless. Da na na. <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodness. Okay, so we still need to go talk to Gart. And I'm gonna see if this guy I have to talk to him again. Nice aggression with the native. Don't let the chief fool you next time. Oh. You don't yeah. need to be that up in his face. Leave yourself space to move. Yeah. He's talking about when I went up to talk to fight the tattooed muscle man and got my ass kicked. Not bad advice, actually. This might do the trick. Yeah. Let's talk about our right to work. Uh, who are all these strike breakers? Look around. What exactly is your goal here? I need you to be my champion against Jean Luc up there. No. No. I'm not a fighter. I'm a worker. You look like a fighter. What exactly is your goal here? Okay, who are all these strike breakers? Honest men and women with rights to work. To work. Useful, not toys for corporate interests. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? Because he's the biggest and the loudest, Kim. You think they follow because I'm big and loud? Yes. No. They follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were... Given a job to do! Oh boy. Okay, we got them all fired up. I'm out of here. Sleep! Okay. Just be reasonable. I want to go back to the whirling. Do you have anything new to say? It's again. It was it is. clear just an hour ago. What is this fuck the police Excuse business? Me? She's uncomfortable. Maybe you should drop this line of questioning. That street sign says fuck the police. Did you write it? Oh. Well, I didn't write it there. I don't believe I'm you. just sitting here. I don't believe you. What about the other sign, huh? Pigs go home? Hmm? Who are, who are these pigs? You talking about us? Huh? Think I'm fucking funny? Think I'm a clown? Think I got hooves? I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. I don't believe you. Even if she didn't write it, she should clean it. You could clean it up. If you get a chance, be a citizen, be a winner. Okay. That's right. She's probably not gonna do it. Well, she fucking better, because my authority is the law. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! All around you, rain falls on the great city of Rivershaw. Rain drips oh. from the eaves and oh my floods goodness. the gutters, washing the filth away. Oh. I haven't, I don't even, I don't think I've ever seen it taken aback this far. This is very, very, very pretty. Looks like a nice painting. The spring thaw must be here. The snow is melting. What am I doing? Looking up at the sky. Cold water dripping from your hat. I don't have a hat. <laughs> oh, I do have a hat. I have a bum hat. How could I forget? What do I see? Gray sky like great battleships. Clouds colliding with one another. Rain falls down on the world. How does it feel? Your shirt sticks to your chest. The shoulders of your jacket grow heavy. The cold finds its way under your skin. You shiver, and the city shivers with you. What is to the east? The great gates of the industrial harbor are locked. A chill runs down your back. You shudder like an animal trying to shake water from its hide. <laughs> shake your shoulders again. You shudder, looking down at your feet. Dirty rainwater runs veins into the plaza snow. You realize you still have only one shoe <laughs> nearby on the balcony of the Whirlingham Rags Hostel Cafeteria. <gasps> A single crocodile skin shoe now fills with rainwater. Oh From my the corner God. of his eye, the lieutenant gives your feet. A worry <clears throat> it's cool, man. I'm process. in control. I should probably do something about this. <laughs> the lieutenant nods, then looks east. Look up. The rain falls. Motherfucker, finish the thought. This rain will not let up anytime soon. I'd recommend you put on your coat. 
I have a type of coat on. Anyway. Shit, we need to go get our shoe. But we'll do that in the next episode. So thanks you. Thank you, everybody, for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It only takes one second, and it really helps me out a lot. And while you're down there, go check out the description. You can go follow uh, me on Twitter. Uh, I give you nice in inside information on what's going on with the channel. You get some early early access or early uh, insight on what's coming out earlier than, than most people. So, yeah, so it's really cool and worth it to go check out Twitter. And uh, make sure you follow uh, the podcast that I have. Yes, I have a podcast. We do. I do three episodes a week. Uh, one episode for gaming, one episode for wrestling, one episode for hockey. So if you're interested in any of those three topics or all three, go over and check out that podcast. You might really dig it. And uh, yeah, uh, I'll be back really soon. Make sure you watch all the videos on YouTube that I have. And subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.